So guys, Alec and Yotis here, and I uh, want to show you guys a uh, cool feature in the My Customers app. This feature specifically falls within the optimized data handling space, um, and it's bill of materials. I think a lot of you guys out there work with bill of materials. Um, so ultimately, a bill of material is when you were to uh, a, um, issue a, 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 a product that consists of multiple items within it. Um, and uh, it's actually something that really enhances your ability to issue quotes very quickly. Um, so firstly, um, my customers sits within Excel and it, uh, it, it operates on any Pastel Partner, Pastel Express or Sage 50 cloud uh, database. And it um, automatically integrates with that environment um, and gives the user access from anywhere to the master file information that's needed to quote customers quickly, but it also doesn't need past the licensing. So now you can have your whole sales team having access and the ability to quote without them having, a, you know, the side spreadsheet or something on the side that doesn't necessarily speak back to Pastel. What, whatever documents are issued out of this app uh, is um, a, 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 a separate CSV um, and importable document is also then issued that can be re-imported by your Pastel team so that the whole environment in Pastel remains a full and, 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 and holistic picture of your business. Okay, so quickly just to show you, uh, this is the header page. I'm gonna just land uh, a little bit of information here. So we're gonna issue a quotation and uh, just gonna take any of the customers, this is the customer slicer, any of those customers that'll populate the customer code as per Pastel. And uh, I'm just gonna say, uh, this is just a um, test. All right, and then we're gonna go over to the details tab. This is also in Pastel language, the history lines tab um, or history lines database actually. Um, now here at the top are the templates. So the templates are also something that relates to bill of materials. So you can land any template in the background that you can go and create. Um, it's not the user that creates it, it's actually a separate, uh, a separate environment. Um, and then you can go and create whatever you need to create to enable the user once he's here to now go and land those templates. You can then obviously put the prices in that uh, template environment. And once he's in this environment, you can just go with an easy kind of visible uh, um, one line explanation. He can now go and access that and quickly land that bill of materials. So um, this is in uh, one of my fitness businesses, Cactic Fitness. And here's a few um, just, you know, basic kind of uh, environments that we have created. For instance, there's a one column system. So if we land that, you'll see it lands information over here. And it then also indicates which are the items, what are the prices we've landed here, what's the tax code, what are the price per unit. And it's landed all that information, even with standard terms and conditions. Here we can see, um, actually, it's indicated to us that this specific project is no longer something that is, is available in Pastel, meaning that's been blocked by Pastel already. So it's actually nice because now the user can see, well, this won't be importable in Pastel. So the template in the background is outdated, it needs to be up updated by the, by, by, the, you, by the by the management team or the sales manager or whomever would um, have, the, uh, um, have, have the, the responsibility of maintaining templates and bill of material environment. Now let's just take another one. We can quickly go to, for instance, uh, a big multi-sport S. This is uh, one of our big container environments. And you'll see that that ultimately lands, that's a, 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 a rolled up version. There it lands a rolled up one. Or you can say, you know what, I want the actual, I want the salesperson to show everything, a detailed multi-sport um, 23. There we go. There's the detail one, and now it lands a massive big document here with all the bill of materials needed within that environment. This is about a 100-line um, quote now, and it's very quick. And once the salesperson is now happy, he can obviously either preview it in a format before it goes out, or he can just say, I'm now happy, and I can process it. This now actually preps a document for us that looks like this before it's in PDF format. So now you can review it and you can say, oh, I'm happy with this document. It looks nice uh, or amend something. And then once he's happy, process. That process will issue a PDF document 
which obviously can be sent 